Tarnished, uh, in 2012, I was made aware of allegations of, of improper um, payments of expenses at the University of Limerick, and at that point in time, I sent it to the uh, Public Accounts Committee for their review and for they to investigate it further. Now, recently, and Minister Noonan there beside you will be aware that the Limerick leader reported on, um, on a similar number of allegations which have come forward from other whistleblowers, former employees at the University of Limerick. And it raises a number of important issues. First of all, there appears to be a conflict uh, between the protected disclosures legislation and confidentiality agreements which the uh, University of Limerick have with some former employees who are now whistleblowers. Uh, following on from that, the University of Limerick has now issued High Court proceedings against the Limerick leader and also against the editor of the Limerick leader, Mr Alan English, personally. Uh, and I think this is a very serious development because you have uh, a state-funded third-level university uh, using state funding to issue proceedings to what I perceive as gag the media in what is a serious issue of public interest. Now, I have spoken to a number of the whistleblowers. Uh, I'm aware of the allegations, and I think that it is an issue which merits uh, proper discussion in this House, proper scrutiny, and indeed proper investigation. Thank you. So, given uh, the fact that we have uh, proposed legislation, the University Amendment Bill, that we have uh, a conflict now uh, between the protected disclosures legislation and confidentiality agreements. And given the fact that in the public interest we have to find out if there is a serious issue here, uh, which uh, many people say that there is, uh, so many whistleblowers have come forward to the Limerick leader, they can't all be wrong. I, I think it merits uh, serious scrutiny, either through the Higher Education Authority, the Gardaí, or whatever appropriate agency. I'd like a comment thank you, Tanish, I don't know to if it. It's, thank if it's you. an order. Yeah, um, thank you. And, uh, first of all, I, I want to say that the University of Limerick is an extremely fine institution, and it has provided first-class educational and development services to students, obviously not just from Limerick, but from the whole of Ireland, and it is recognised rightly as one of our most outstanding uh, thir uh, third level institutions and universities so I think you know it's quite important uh, to say that uh, about the university which I've had the privilege of visiting on very many occasions um, the uh, remit uh, properly in relation to this uh, would, in my experience, as a former member of the Public Accounts Committee, lie with the Public Accounts Committee. And I'm quite sure if you bring it to the chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee, uh, Ms. Uh, Deputy John McGuinness, that it should be possible, given the urgency which you attach to the <coughs> statement that you've just made, that he may be in a position to perhaps schedule uh, hearings of the Public Accounts Committee uh, in respect to the matters um, that, that, that you've raised. I don't want to comment on uh, any uh, court proceedings, obviously they're a matter for the court, but I do want to say, as somebody who's been in UL on very many occasions, and um, I, I would know a lot of people working there, a lot of people who've studied there, I think it's very, very important that as a representative um, of Limerick and of the region um, that you would acknowledge that it is a very fine university if there are issues to be addressed of the kind that you've mentioned. Um, ultimately it's for the CNAG and um, the uh, Public Accounts Committee and I'm sure if you go to the chairperson of the Public Com Accounts Committee and explain the urgency of the matters you're raising uh, that he may be able Thank to you. facilitate. Thank you.